The Okavango Delta is probably Botswana's most famous wildlife region. Looking back into the country's geological past allows us to explain how this unique habitat was formed. In this video, we'll give a brief outline of how the historic tectonic activity led to the changes that have formed this beautiful landscape. As you may remember from your geography lessons at school, the continents of Earth were once joined in one huge supercontinent called Gondwana Land. About 100 million years ago, Gondwana Land began to break up, and as tectonic plates shifted, the continents moved away from each other. Fast forwarding to about 65 million years ago, the area of Africa that is now modern day Botswana was probably very arid. The region's rocks were gradually eroded by wind and weathering, creating lots of sand. This sand eventually accumulated to form the vast Kalahari Desert. About four or five million years ago, almost yesterday in geological terms, three of the major rivers of the region, the Okavango, Kwando and Zambezi rivers, all flowed along completely different courses than they do today. In the past, these rivers almost certainly flowed southwards into a large inland depression in the heart of the Kalahari. This large inland sea had one outlet into either the Orange or Limpopo River, but geologists are a little bit like fault lines on this subject and divided. However, northern Botswana has a series of faults running deep beneath the ground. These fault lines running under northern Botswana are part of the same parallel fault lines that are pulling away from each other and forming the Great Rift Valley further north in Africa. Over the next few millennia, Seismic shifts cause central and southern Botswana to rise. As you can see from the following slides, this tectonic activity had a dramatic influence on the rivers. The Kwondo and Zambezi rivers were forced by a series of faults to flow eastwards. You can see the dramatic effect the Linyanti fault had on the Kwondo as it doglegs sharply to the northeast. With the vast inland sea now starved of its water source, it started to dry and has ended up today as the area known as the Makalikali Pans. The Okavango River was affected by two prominent fault lines, the Gumare to the north and the Thamalakani to the south. This further restricted the water flow into the Makalikali, which eventually dried up completely and now only holds seasonal rainfall. Some geologists say that the land between the faults may have sunk by as much as 300 metres but there is little visible evidence of this today. What is visible is that this captured water resulted in the spectacular creation that is the Okavango Delta. The Okavango is the largest inland delta in the world and covers an area of some 15,000 square kilometres. The Okavango is a wildlife paradise and a haven for an incredible array of flora and fauna. The ecosystem is home to many species, including the interesting Sitatunga. This shy swamp dwelling antelope has adapted splayed hooves for easy movement on the reed beds. Hippos, Elephants, antelopes, crocodiles, rhinos, lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas and wild dogs can also all be seen in this unique habitat. Especially interesting bird species include the Pell's fishing owl, African finfoot, African skimmer and in my opinion Botswana's best-known bird the psychedelically coloured purple gallinule. 